Hey everybody, this is Joe at Cloud Academy. Now for this lab snippet, we're gonna go over cracking Linux passwords. Now for the setup for this lab, what we've done is uh, we started with an Azure VM and within this Azure VM, we launched it through our lab and now we're gonna launch another virtual machine. It's gonna be a Kali Linux virtual machine. So what is Kali Linux? That's a specialized Linux di distribution that's used for penetration testing, things like that. So we're gonna log in as a root user. The name is root. And we're gonna use a simple password for cracking. It's root backwards, so that's T-O-O-R. We just wait a second while we log in. And once we're in Kali Linux, we're gonna open up the terminal. So now that we're in the terminal, at this prompt, we're gonna enter in the following command, less slash etc slash shadow. So what this does, it allows us to view the system's pa password shadow file, where the passwords are stored. At the top, you'll see our user root separated by a colon, and then the next field is the encrypted password. Looks like a long hash. All those other users there below it, they have the username colon asterisk. That means they don't have passwords assigned to them. So this is just getting you some basics understanding how what's what data is inside this file. When you're done looking at it, you just hit Q and go back. Now the next step is we're going to enter in the following command to unshadow the password. It's unshadow slash etc slash password and then etc slash shadow. These are two files and we're going to combine them into another one called my password. This is just putting it in a format so John the Ripper, our tool, can actually access it. And this command also creates a directory called dot John where that file resides. And your last step is you're going to use John the Ripper now. So you type in John and my password, which is that file, and then it starts to crack it. Just takes a few seconds and we'll get some results and we can do a quick explanation. So what you see there in the middle in the red is that John the Ripper finds the root user and then to the left it shows T-O-O-R, which is the password for root. In this example, John the Ripper used the most basic strategy for cracking password, which is called single. It goes through passwords that are based on the user's name, but there are lots of other ways to go around this, and our hands-on lab is going to explain this more and give you some cool practice to try and apply this to more advanced passwords. Thanks, and you can check more on our website, cloudacademy.com.